Hello everybody, it is Kevin Ho and I am over here at 20th and Diamond Street and we are here to see 4349 20th Street. Uh, it's listed by our friends uh, Sally Thompson and Brian Garrett over at Sage Real Estate, part of the Side Real Estate Group. And this, I love this house. It's pretty fantastic, really well done, nice remodeling, great structure, great everything, great location, and we're going to show you through the place. It's about 2,800 square feet. Legally, it's a two-unit building, and the great thing is you get two parking spaces. Parking space number one is pretty nice and deep and you do get two uh, driveways I suppose or you, know, you get your double driveway here as you can see but let's see how deep this garage is it is 15 feet it uh, I think Sally said that uh, somebody had tested their Tesla I might get a model 3 and it fit decently well um, let's see the width of the garage See here, measuring here. Uh, computer, oh, technology. Let's see. Let me do it one more time here. Oh, it says error. Well, at least it knew it was doing its thing. Let's see. Sorry about this, everybody. Let me get this. Come on, computer. Come on. You can do it. Okay, let's clear it out. Maybe that's what I had to do. Seven foot. Seven and a half feet wide. It was great. Anyway, whole point being, two parking spaces. If your car doesn't fit for some reason, you can block your front driveway too. But I really do like this house. And you start noticing the details as soon as you move me on the garage. You have these beautiful uh, handrails with the ePay, Brazilian ePay. You've got a lovely front front porch up here, and you'll see there are just some great touches. I love this private space. You have space out here and you have space upstairs. So let's go upstairs. First, we will look at this really great studio in a moment, but let's take a look here. So you first come in, you will notice that you've got this up. beautiful wood floors. I love the staircase. I think there are seven skylights on this floor. You got your entry closet here, which is really nice. And then you have sort of the mechanicals back here. And that's really one of the more important things you want to look at. I really like the fact that you've got the screws cover plates. It's a little detail, but it's indicative that the whole house, you know, is pretty smart. You've got wine storage here. Let's see, you've got some, ooh, what is this? Let's see, ah, water here is mechanical. Let's see back here, look at that. So they redid everything. Got your new stacks, your drains, copper supply, copper drains. You've got your heater here. There is air conditioning in one of the upstairs rooms that you'll see. Water heater down here. And then over here, as geeky as it sounds, these are the important things to look at first. You've got, look at this. This is pretty neat. They've done all the sort of concrete retaining drainage work you need. You've got, you know, we built everything down here. You've got a, a Christie box or a cistern or some pump, whatever, where the water, since you are on a hill, comes down and it drains effectively out. So it's controlled. And that's really important home, uh, on grades like this too. You've got the Sotos up here. And, okay, so boring mechanical stuff out of the way. Let's take a look. There was a Berkeley-based architect who did this, really incorporates some really nice natural woods and spaces, and I mean, even look at the detail here. Beautiful steel here, beautiful hand wood handrail, and you come in, and notice the sense of light that you get. Let's see, take a look at that. So, let's take a look around. So here's your, sorry about this, I don't know why the camera is being all funny, but here is your front living area beautiful. You've got 10 foot ceilings here. You've got in, uh, ceiling speakers. You've got, let me just take a look back here. Remember I talked about that wood theme, the wood and the light. You've got tall recessed lights. 
seven skylights on this floor. I think they're automatic too, if I'm not mistaken. At least some of them are. They can open up and you've got this lovely front porch that overlooks our front balcony that overlooks the front porch. And when you go higher, you'll see views, solar panels across the street for your neighbors. I'm not sure if this one has solar panels or not, but it's sunny enough that it does. Street noise is really minimal here. Let me close this up. You've got the in-floor uh, plug-in. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll lock this in a second. Gas fireplace. Your main window here. Double paint windows, of course. And I just really love it. I love the effect that they got with the skylights here. And clearly they've opened this up. Now, here is bedroom number one, or they use as a bedroom, but you can see they've got the surround sound here or whatnot too. You could use it as an office or a bedroom. There are a couple bedrooms upstairs at least. Let's take a look back here. I love this built-in. It's really cool. Now this kitchen is quite clever. Look at the detailing here. Love that work. Love the stainless steel. Love how they cladded these posts with wood. It's lovely. And then look at this built-in here. The wine fridge there. I really do love it. Great cooking kitchen. Your display, you know, your ephemera, your porcelain, you know, your sake glasses, your champagne foods, and whatnot. And then take a look at this stretch of the kitchen. The kitchen living family. It's that open concept that people love. Yet, you also have the accordion windows right here, which make it really just nice and flexible. I love the colors here. I love this light well that you get light off from the front, the back, the side, and let's look at the kitchen. So a nice long peninsula here with a small prep sink. And then you can also see they've got the on-demand hot water, another wine fridge here. Really, people who love this, uh, rest of love, the loved cooking. You've got your Viking range, Viking hood, over here, refrigerator. I love this built-in microwave here. Your Lee pair. Look at that. Was that really so snap in that way? No, I think I just thought it was like, wow, that'd be cool. Um, the cabinetry is beautiful. Your second sink. You've got your Fisher and Paco dual washer and, uh, for dishwasher. And then I love how subtle this is. Really beautiful wood. The uh, microwave garage, shall we say, in the outdoor space, we'll show you in a second. And then over here, let me show you some of this cabinetry. I think this one was pretty impressive with the built-in knife. Lots of knives. You never know, you actually do have so many knives. Just really just nice action on that too. You've got your uh, baking sheets, brownie sheets, another wine fridge. So wine downstairs, wine over here. I think you're pretty much set. I love the veneer and the wood that they used. You know, the grading, the pattern here. And it's just this nice sense of quality. Skylights above again. Of course, this one's on the parking line, so that's why you've got the little wire mesh to it. Speakers again, recess lights. And then your undermounted cabinet lights, very cleverly done, where the light is against here, so you don't get the hot spot effect. Nice backsplash as well. Let's go out here. You've got a heater, but the thing is you are sheltered, and you've got a plum for another gas heater if you wanted to. What's lovely about this, you've got your Olympic flames, I like to call it. You've got your hot tub, which is fantastic. You've got the outdoor grill, which you saw, and then you've got this really lovely outdoor dining area. It's safe, secure, protected, and we'll see that in a second. You've got another space over here, and you've got, and you've got lots of food. I love the palms up here, and then over here again, your, you know, that's the back side of the kitchen, where the sink is, your grill, again, more speakers. I love the planters that are integrated. You've got stair lights as well. Great using UK wood here, really durable, really tough, really dense. You know, you have to have special saw blades for it. Yes, well, you know. So, uh, take a look here, really just quite lovely. I love the, uh, the Hubbard and Forge lights that they used here. You've got the wood floor here, a little bit of sun fade, but that's to be expected. And then, let's go here, your nest there. I mean, look how integrated this is. Really just smart and clever. Um, bathroom, full bathroom here, floating vanity, nice deep shower, and then over here, you've got another sort of storage utility thing, but it's pretty deep. You've got your tankless water heater here, and look at that, that's your uh, intake, uh, and then on the return, and you've got the little filter there, really clever actually. 
you've got the wood floors, you see that it's got kind of that hand carved effect here. I really just love it. You see Corona Heights over there and you'll see the view when we go upstairs. Speaking of which, let's go upstairs again. Before that, love that they used the built-in sheetrock London uh, uh, step lights. Beautiful, nice to grab onto, really cute here. I mean, just this demonstrates the attention to detail. So up here, you've got two rooms, one in the front, which has a little bit of, uh, which has air conditioning, and the one back here. Let's start back here. So I love these. When they do this, it's very sort of like, you know, the White House, you know, the sort of secret Oval Office door. But it's great storage here. A little bit of closet here. I love the built-ins. And then you've got up there and there you have the same thing. And then here is that patio that we talked about. Again, the e-pay is nice. And I love the palms, the neighbors over there. And then over here, your, both of these are ensuite. So here is your first full bathroom. You've got the Durbit in your wall toilet, which is great. And really nice. Uh, I think that's the Hans Grohe as well. You've got the wheel outs to open up. There's your bath fan. And to open up the skylight. Oops, sorry about that. And it's up there somewhere. Let's see, I'll find it in a second. Got a nice niche. I love the soft stone that they've used. And I think I would suspect there would be heaped floors, but I might I might be I might be wrong with that. No. Well, regardless. Across the way here. Your laundry is up here. And then Let's take a look at this room. So this room does have air conditioning because it is front facing and you do get a lot of light. I'm thinking you could expand the run of the air conditioning if you wanted to, but take a look at that. Great view, Corona, Heights Park bed, backside of Twin Peaks, and you can see 18th Street down there too. And then look at this. There's so much utilization of space here because now you've got this again with the integrated. I really love that. It's a really clever thing. Walk through closet into a full dual vanity bathroom. I love that stone. It's organic. Then you've got skylight above, and then you've got a really large shower, green shower head, hand held thing, bench, and the linear drain. And I think there's a steep. I think there's a steam function in this one, at least that's what that looks like too. And your controls for that as well. Let's see. Does that do anything? Let's see. Oh, computer. Oh, I was just trying to see the view looks thing up. And then you've got a little access panel here for the AC that is up here as well. That's really clever. I love the little ball hinge there. You've got um, HD stuff here for any TV or Sony or smart home type of thing you want to. Uh, it's a new charge system. I think it might be ready or wrong. I'm not quite sure. I didn't see where the control for that would be. But yeah, I mean, just super lovely. So you've got one, two, three up here, three rooms. One, two, three, if you use it as a room. And then you've got the fourth downstairs. But look at that. One more sweep around. And then let's go down here to see the studio. And I even see the stair lights here, and then even this super smart, super brilliant integrated stair light step lights again. I must have talked about that already. Nice entrance here. And you got your smart box. And let's take a look at this. Oh, the ring door. Another door code thing here, and take a look. This is pretty lovely. Fuzzy Fisher, super smart. Uh, nine foot ceilings, measured it earlier. You got the entry closet here, or just closet, I suppose. And then here, room for the bed. I think this must be a full size bed. And then a kitchenette. You've got your Bertazzoni. Wow. You've got your. This is the kitchenette dumb. Yep. The refrigerator, freezer. Or and then you've got a little convection oven, I think, here. 
small sink. You know, it's perfect for what it needs to be. You got the walk-in shower here. Turn on the lights. You got a nice vanity here, and then your good, comfortable toilet, and then your stand-up shower as well. So, yeah, really just, oh, and I love the ceiling fan too, just because, and you've got the nest stuff as you've seen, and you've really just got a great attention to detail about the floors down here. Location, of course, is wonderful. Uh, we love it. It's super central, super warm and sunny, you know, as that can be in the city and um, really just a fantastic opportunity. All right, well, I love it. This is great. So it's Kevin Ho again, here from 4349 20th Street. Uh, I visited with Brian Garrett and Sally Thompson over at Sage. Be sure to tune into more uh, tours if you like. And if you have any questions about this one, let us know or let Brian and Sally know. And uh, thank you all for watching and thanks for them for letting us uh, give you a tour around. All right, take care, everybody.